So I found myself in this uh, little debate on uh, Facebook today, and this this happens all the time. I've been in ministry for 25 years, and I've been doing social media for uh, the same amount of time. And um, this is just, you know, par for the course. Uh, I'm out there trying to teach my topic. But anyways, I um, thought it might be fun to, you know, share one with you guys and see what you think of it. So uh, I'm doing my um, regular bi-weekly live stream, these final days class uh, this Thursday. So uh, what I do is on Monday or Tuesday of, of that week, I'll, you know, go in to my various Facebook groups. I'm, I'm a member of about, you know, maybe two dozen of them that have to do with the end times, right? And, uh, and post a little invite to my class. So this, uh, this group is called, you know, um, what's it called? In Times Alert Headlines. So kind of a cool name. Uh, we have a group too, these final days. But anyway, so um, here's my post. I did this yesterday evening, just da da da. We're gonna talk about some cool stuff. Here's the title of this week's class, God Protects His People from the Antichrist in Revelation 12. So this, uh, this guy named Jeff, um, commented uh like right away and he wrote more lies from the ignorant and deceived <laughs> so i know this guy i know i've seen him before I, his name you know rings a bell <clears throat> and obviously he knows me so uh so down below that i responded uh jeff are you referring to me can you be more specific please and i have a little you know smiley face there so you know not trying to get into a fight you know that's always pointless and he says Yes, Ryan, I was referring to you as ignorant and deceived. You're nothing more than a liar and a false teacher. Water up a duck's back. I read one of your books ah, and found it filled with lies. So thanks for reading my book, Jeff. Uh, filled with lies that directly contradict what the scripture says. You made numerous false assumptions with zero evidence to support them. Your lies serve only Satan. So I think this guy does not dig my ministry, and I and I get it. A lot of people don't. So um, so I wasn't quite sure what he's referring to. I, I kind of could guess, but uh, but he says here he says, or I say to him, I say, um, you know, Jeff, again, can you be more specific, please? Maybe just one example of what you're referring to. Otherwise, you're just name calling, sincere request. So Jeff writes back. He says, I'm not going to purchase your garbage book. To ouch to find a specific example. Here we go. This is what I assumed. The pre-tribulation rapture is clearly taught in Scripture as the church is not appointed to the wrath of God, which is what the entire tribulation period is. You deny that and twist Scripture to make your lies fit. If I remember correctly, this is still Jeff talking to me. If I remember correctly, you teach a post-trib rapture, this is true, which is ludicrous and full of holes. You twist and distort the truth of God's word for profit. Wow, you are nothing more than a liar and a false teacher. So... This is my response back to Jeff. This was this morning. Jeff, thank you. Uh, I'm not being sarcastic. You'll, you'll see what I mean. As per our conversation in the other group, I'm making him for giving me an actual answer, right? Uh, I suspected this was about the timing of the rapture, because uh, it usually is. <laughs> I am confused, though. You say above that you're not going to purchase my garbage book, but in your earlier comment above, you say, I read one of your books. How did you read my book if you didn't purchase it? I'm not accusing you of lying, but dot, 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 question mark. Uh, that said, you are 100% correct that we are not appointed to God's wrath. So I'm agreeing with Jeff on this point. That's 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 9. Of course, neither were the Israelites in Egypt, which is why God supernaturally protected them from all of his 10 plagues. The Israelites were 100% present in Egypt for all of them, but none of the plagues, God's wrath touched them. Likewise, Revelation chapter 7 tells us that just before God unleashes the Great Tribulation, which starts in Revelation chapter 8, and I say to Jeff, I agree with you, this is God's wrath. The Great Tribulation is God's wrath on a grand scale. Uh, God sends an angel around the world before this begins to seal all of his people, that's us, for supernatural protection against what's coming. And then in Revelation chapter 9, see I'm quoting scriptures, you know, trying to uh, encourage people to read, we see this in action. The fifth trumpet is a plague of locusts, 100% sent by God himself, which causes great pain for anyone whom the locusts attack. But the locusts are given strict instructions by God not to harm anyone who has the seal of God on their foreheads. Long story short, maybe too late for that, we, the church, like the Israelites in Egypt, are not the target of God's wrath, but we will nonetheless be present here on earth for 100% of it. 100% of God's wrath, the, the Great Tribulation. Last point, I think I've mentioned to you before that I do not financially profit from my ministry. This is true, everyone. 
On the contrary, my wife and I donate thousands of dollars each year into these final days ministries, which I tell Jeff and everybody reading this and everybody watching now, you can uh, access all of our material at uh, thesefinaldays.org. That's that's the uh, ministry website in order to get this very important message out in these end times. So uh, Jeff did respond, but I'll leave it at that for now because this is TikTok. Don't want to go on too long and um, want to hear what you guys think. Am I handling this okay? Uh, trying to be nice to Jeff, who obviously does not like me very much. That's okay. Um, and uh, so I'll continue my chat with Jeff for as long as it goes and feels productive. And let me know what you think in the comments. And don't forget to like this TikTok page. God bless you guys.